everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Rina. Today I'm going to be showing you my Disneyland Paris haul from January. Uh, my sister came out with me for four days and then my boyfriend came out for the last two days. It was a really amazing birthday trip, I couldn't have asked for a better birthday. I was also kindly given some money from Christmas and also my birthday to treat myself at Disneyland Paris. So it might seem like I have a little bit more than usual. But Disneyland Paris also launches their sale in January so I picked up some absolute bargains uh, which I'll show you now. As you all know I love Sim Sims and I'm not usually a fan of the micro Sim Sims but I had to get these, these were the Dinah Sim Sims. And they're so cute, they got a um, mini blowing a bubble gum, got a waitress Daisy, uh, a cook uh, Goofy, Pluto on a rollerblade, Mickey, and a greaser Donald as well, which I thought was so cute. And these are actually originally $25.99, but I got them in the sale for I think nine euros, and then I also got my annual pass discount on top of that. So it worked out about eight euros. I don't know whether to get them out of this or not because it looks like a little jukebox. My next bargain was Hortensia. This is Oswald's girlfriend um, and she was originally 20 euros but I got her for five euros. And then with the annual pass discount, I got an extra 50 cents off so I got her for four euros 50. I mean, you can't argue for a better price. Another bargain Simpson that I found was the uh, Chief from Peter Pan. And I think he was around three euros. And the last thing that I picked up was something I knew I could have got back in the Disney store, but it was cheaper in the sale than it was in the Disney store. And it was this Ufufi cup. And I think they've actually discontinued the Ufufis in the UK now, which is really sad because I found them absolutely adorable. So you've got all the little classic Disney characters on there. This has been tucked away for a while now so I'm looking forward to actually using it. I forgot to mention my ears. I got them in the Disneyland Paris Park. They were 20 euros. Uh, they're like black and gold with little stars on. It says Disneyland Paris on one side and it also says it's magical on the other side which I thought was really cute. As I mentioned I went to Disneyland Paris with my sister and she wanted to get me my birthday presents in the park um, and we saw this stitch in the Disneyland Paris Hotel and I absolutely fell in love with him. Um, he was quite pricey in the hotel. We checked on Amazon and he was actually half the price so we got him on there but I'm still counting this as a uh, my present from Disneyland Paris and he's so cute, he's holding the little frog. He's got his alien hands as well. He's from the Disney Traditions collection, um, so if you're ever in the park and you see ornaments there, always check online or the Disney store as well because I'll show you something later on that I also found cheaper on the Disney store website than the Disneyland Paris Resort. Of course it's up to you whether you feel like you know, you're happy to pay the extra price because it's you'll know it's then from Disneyland Paris. I previously bought a necklace from Disneyland Paris which was of the little castle and it was a little gold necklace and as I was wearing it on my latest trip, uh, it broke and I was really sad and my sister said that she would replace it for me as my birthday present so that made it extra special. So it's the same necklace as before, it's just a little um, Disneyland Paris castle. So the other item that I mentioned was cheaper um, outside of the park was this Percy Amico trinket dish. It's absolutely adorable and I fell in love with it. It was 25 euros in the Disneyland Park and on the Disney Store website it was £12 so it was half the price and I thought now I'm going to wait till I get home. Moving on to the next bag, um, for some reason this time I fell in love with Ratatouille and I really like the shop near the uh, Ratatouille ride. I picked up a few things, first thing that I picked up was this really cute uh, Disneyland Paris Remy uh, postcard or card and I thought I could put that somewhere in my flat. If you've been watching my videos for a little while or if you're new to my channel, I do love a good mug and this one was a Remy mug and I just love the little drawings and illustrations on it. Um, this one is actually more designed for tea, I'll just show you. So it has a little lid saying Disneyland Paris on the top to keep your tea warm. And inside you have a little um, tea strainer so you can put real tea leaves in there, which I thought was really cool. And yeah, I just love the little illustrations. It's got uh, the castle on there, the Eiffel Tower, and just little cute words like petit déjeuner and sucre, all different like food related French words. And the final thing Ratatouille related was this little kitchen storage jar. I thought that was so cute and I thought I could store um, some pasta in there or some rice, but it was so cute. 
had to go through quite a few of them to check the lids though because they all seemed a bit scratched up and I wasn't sure whether that was the effect or um, if they were a little bit damaged but I managed to find one that was not too scratched up. And the final thing I bought from that shop was a Chef Duffy! I hadn't actually bought a Duffy toy because I was always telling myself that I would wait until I go to Tokyo but this one is a bit more exclusive to Disneyland Paris because it has the Disneyland Paris logo on there and I just put the so cute little Mickey on his back and his like, little feet and I've got him sitting on my dining table so he's near my kitchen as well and he's just so cute. The next thing I got was a Mickey tote bag which says bonjour on it and I just thought it was so cute. I love the sort of nautical French colours and it says Disneyland Paris on the back there too. Just thought that'd be really handy to use. Um, I'm always taking a tote bag on the tube with me and I'm always carrying loads of stuff or if it's good to go shopping with. It's a good size and also it's got a popper so you can fasten it for extra security. And it's also got a um, zip inside too so you can always store your phone in there or your purse. I'm not sure whether this is pajamas or daytime wear but I'd probably wear it out. It's a um, grey dress and it has little thumpers on the bottom and they're all fluffy and furry. So cute. I found this in the Christmas shop on Main Street and I didn't see it anywhere else and I just fell in love with it and I thought I could put it on with some tights and some boots and it's quite uh, subtle as well and yeah, I just thought it has to be mine. And I thought I'd count that as one of my uh, birthday Christmas presents. Disneyland Paris was still celebrating Mickey's 90th birthday and I thought it was quite uh, suiting because me and my sister we booked on Mickey's birthday and as it was my birthday I thought that I should buy the birthday Mickey Mouse and Minnie Simpsons. I just thought they were so cute. And it was a special reminder that I went to Disneyland Paris on my birthday. I kept watching in other people's hauls um, about this mug that they kept finding and it had all the attractions and it was in like a pretty pastel pink and blue colours. And I only realised from maybe a couple of vlogs ago that I watched that it was from Starbucks. And so I went in and I managed to get one and it says Disneyland Paris on it and it's just so cute. It's very like vintage style. It has all the rides on there, Big Thunder Mountain, Deep and Beauty Castle, Small World, Space Mountain and the Star Wars um, plane there too. I don't normally drink a lot of coffee but I have recently got into cappuccinos um, and mochas, the sweetest chocolatiest ones of course. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to finally getting around to using this. I forgot my lanyard so I thought have to get a new one and I found this really cute princess one which has Ariel, Cinderella, uh, Sleeping Beauty and Belle on it and then I got this to store my uh, annual pass in which is a little stitch wallet and you can see he's got scrump and the little ducklings around him. They actually uh, announced they were releasing a stitch lanyard to match that but it wasn't going to be available until I think the Saturday afterwards which I was a bit gutted about but hopefully it's there next time I go. This one was a bit of a random purchase but for some reason I've really got into the Disney cats and I saw him and I thought he just looks evil <laughs> and just so funny and it's Lucifer from Cinderella. I just thought he's so cool. I love the colour and I love his like big fluffy tail his little pink nose there too. I just thought you can't really get a more realistic cat than Lucifer or Figaro. I think they're both two of my favourite characters. <laughs> and when I was carrying him home he was sat in my bag and I think people thought that it was a real cat sitting there because you could see his little head popped out. My favourite ride is the Pirates of the Caribbean ride and I must have gone on it about five or six times this trip and I never get tired of it. But I realised I didn't actually own anything Pirates of the Caribbean related, so I thought I'd get the little Aztec coin. And it also says um, Disneyland Paris on the back there too. Just found another item that I got in the sale and it was this Oswald keyring. And I think he was two euros from down from 6.99. Now that I'm living in a flat by myself, I thought I would get some artwork to put up around the place. And I found these Disneyland Paris artworks. I've wanted these since I think I went the first time in 2017 but I kept putting them off. Um, they were 30 euros and I know that there's a, quite a lot of white border around the pictures but I thought no I'm gonna get them because they are really pretty 
and it's lots of pictures of like the attractions so you have like it's a small world the railroad and also some of the uh, shops from the main street such as Gibson Girl ice cream and also got Phantom Manor on there too but my favorite one is of the castle so yeah I can't wait to put those up so moving on to pins I maybe went a bit crazy again um, but I thought it's my birthday, I'm allowed to treat myself. This was a set that I'd seen a few times but I wasn't too sure about getting because I wasn't too keen on Belle and I wasn't too keen on the Beast but the two in the middle were ones that I really liked. So in this set you get the Beast, you get the Feather Duster, I can never remember her name, um, the Rose in the Jar and Belle. I've become a bit of an avid stitch pin collector and Unfortunately, they didn't release the uh, other stitch pins they were announcing in February until the week after. Um, so even though I was there at the beginning of February, I wasn't able to pick up those ones. But I still did get this one, which was really cute, which is of Lilo and Stitch reading a book and Stitch playing a guitar. Another stitch pin is the 2019 Disneyland Paris one. And he's also painting on It's a Small World, which I thought was quite a fun pin. One of the other pins I really wanted was of Nana from Peter Pan, but they just said that they weren't going to get any more in stock until around May, so I was really gutted that I couldn't get one, but it must be a really popular pin. So instead I got this Michael and John pin, which is still a really cute pin. And I also found this one of Peter Pan. Sorry guys, this lighting is very reflective on the cellophane and it doesn't seem to want to focus. There we go. How cute is she? And she's got little glitter um, studs on her shoes as well and also her wand. If you watched my previous Disneyland Paris haul, you'll know that I picked up the Little Mermaid pin set. So I thought I would pick up Ursula this time. I don't normally go for the villain pins, but I just thought this one was really cool. I also picked up a couple of the Alice in Wonderland pins. They've got Alice with Dinah there. Uh, putting on a flower crown and the white rabbit. When I found the uh, birthday sumsums, I also found this pin which um, is of Mickey and it says party time on it, so I thought that was perfect. In the previous haul, I managed to find the bell uh, pin like this, but this time I managed to find the aerial one. So it's from the Flowers and Princesses collection and it's so pretty. I don't have very many pins of Mickey and Minnie and when I saw this one I thought this was really cute. There's the classic kind of Minnie giving Mickey a kiss. They'd also released some Wreck-It Ralph 2 pins. Um, I wasn't too keen on getting Ralph but I really love Vanellope so I got one of her and she's got little like pieces of candy in her hair. I found a really cute Snow White pin. They had recently also um, released a Mulan collection and I have to get this one of Mulan with Mushu and she also has a little cricket in this little um, carry case there too and it's like a little um, sort of floating charm which I thought was really cute. And the final two pieces that I got were some pins that I traded and I got a little mini donut and Hortensia. I hope you made it through to the end of this video and I'll now announce my little giveaway. This is just a, a little gift to say thank you uh, for continuing to support me and watch my videos and also because I recently reached 100 subscribers. Uh, so I thought I'd get a little gift from Disneyland Paris. So the things that you could be getting is a Mickey mug with a little Disneyland Paris magnet and then a little Shelly Mae and Duffy Sumsums. So if you'd like to enter this giveaway and have the chance to win this little gift, then please give the video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment down below of what your favourite ride is at Disneyland Paris. Or if you haven't been to Disneyland Paris, then perhaps what would be the first ride that you would go on? I'll leave the competition open for the next week and I'll choose a winner at random and I'll announce the winner in a next video and I'll also leave a comment on this video uh, to let you know who, who won the giveaway. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm not sure when I'll next be going to Disneyland Paris, hopefully this year again. I think my next video will probably be a uh, Disney haul based on the fact that I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while and I have been buying uh, a few Disney bits here and there. So I will share with you all what I have 
found recently. Also, now that I'm living in London, my bunny rabbit Bailey is here. I'm thinking of also doing some cooking videos soon, now that I have my own little space. So yeah, lots of content to come, and thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!